You know, there's an old adage that dogs can sense fear. Well, they can sense a good person too and how they're treated. Taking the jump into warm water therapy with Tina and Tim Smith. Here's their story. We had our first date on August 5th, 2000. It wasn't until later that I met Chaz. Chaz was her dog. I never imagined myself being so drawn to a dog. Tina would bring him over and we would go hiking together. We did a lot of things. It helped us grow as a couple. And they were married in the fall of 2004, surrounded by the love and support of their family and friends. I now pronounce you husband and wife. They were now a family of three. Let's go. Tina and I, Chaz was like our world. He was our furry kid. You're responsible for his care, for his happiness, making sure that he's taken care of properly. And in turn, he's going to give you a good life. Like everything in life, things come to an end. When Chaz got cancer, it was... It challenged us and it pulled us to live life to the fullest. After Chaz was diagnosed with cancer, they never gave up hope, something that changed their lives forever. God answered their prayers. God putting people in our path. Well, my name's Elizabeth Cutright. I'm a veterinarian, and they were one of my first clients. I was struck <laughs> by Tim's size. I used to be a professional wrestler. He had been a wrestler, an international wrestler. And my wrestling partner was my best friend. Because wrestling ended, I lost that friendship. And with Chaz, I had that male bond again. It comes down to the bond that people develop with pets that is almost impossible sometimes to recreate with another person. Tina and Tim provided Chaz with therapy to help ease his pain and prolong his life. We tried everything we could. Acupuncture, underwater treadmill, and eventually, that's where we found the swimming place. To find the right treatment for their beloved pet. I love an alternative where you're enhancing the body's ability to heal itself and promote wellness as opposed to relying on a pharmaceutical. It's a huge key to keep moving. People are becoming more aware of it for themselves. You can't expect them not to project that onto their pets. You can have dogs of any age do this type of therapy. If you can provide a therapy that engages the pet's body healing so that less pharmaceutical is needed, they're going to have less pharmaceutical residual buildup in their system. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt about more dogs. It's a beautiful thing, but I do think that it enhanced his quality of life towards the end. In 2012, Chaz passed away peacefully at home, surrounded by his loved ones. Getting a dog in the water heals their person too. When they were ready, they decided to adopt a rescue named Ike. Everyone says that we rescued Ike. In reality, Ike rescued us. They decided to pursue a path of helping more people and more dogs in the same way. I think we'll start a business. And that's what you do when, when you want to chase your dream. You have to be challenged. Every barrier is surmountable and they will accomplish what they need to. Tina and I are certified in canine aquatic therapy. This is truly someone who's skilled, intelligent, capable, and passionate, and I think that's a great combination for someone to be successful in business. That's who we are. We're looking for support, angel investors that will believe in us and our cause. Help dogs and their owners. Please visit their website for more information. Chazzy'sWetPaws.com
not going to get better care, better compassion, better follow through with anybody else. Chazzy's Wet Paws, warm water therapy for dogs. And we are taking the jump.